Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amaris and today we are going to be talking about the Amika products. I have the Amika blow drying brush, um, some of their hair products and their straightener as well. So if you have my hair type and you're looking for a good flat iron or a good blow drying brush, um, you're in the right spot. So I was doing a lot of research on what would be the best for me and Amika, I just love their packaging. Their packaging is what really did it for me. I'm like, the little skulls are so cute, the colors, it's so bright. Everything smells really good. So like, I was hooked instantly. I'm like, yes, I want to buy this. So um, I started by buying like some minis. That way I can see how I like it first before I buy um, the full size. So I purchased my Amika products at Salon Centric. So if you are a member, um, you can find it there. If you are not a member at Salon Centric, you can get it at Sephora or on the Amika website. So I bought the Soul Food, the Nourishing Mask. Like look how cute the packaging is, I love it. And then the Velveteen Dream, this is a smoothing shampoo. And I bought the Blockade, uh, the Heat Defense Serum. Now this I bought in full size because I'm I don't think they made a mini, or maybe they did. I don't know, but I bought it in full size. I washed my hair with this, followed it up with a deep conditioner, and then <clears throat> straight out of the shower, I put in a little bit of like a leave-in conditioner that I already have, and then put this on top. And then I used my heat protectant, which you will see in the video. So basically, the products that I wash my hair with are amazing. This made my hair, the shampoo, the Velveteen Dream, made my hair super, super silky. I love the way that it like suds up. My head felt really clean. Um, and remember just to focus on your scalp. You don't need to be rubbing the shampoo like through your hair. When you rinse it out, it will rinse, you know, all the dirt out. I always use a deep conditioner when I wash my hair because I only wash my hair once every eight days. Um, sometimes twice a week, depending if it needs some more hydration, I'll wash it so I can do a deep mask. But I don't own just like a regular standard conditioner. Um, for me, it is a waste, so I only use um, deep conditioners. The thing that I like about the Velveteen shampoo is it made my hair super silky. This company is completely cruelty free, which is really nice. Let me grab my phone because I do want to read up on a couple of things. Okay, so my curls are so tight. That's why I went with the Velveteen Dream because I knew, well I didn't know, I was hoping that it would really hydrate my hair and really get it nice and soft and smooth so that um, when I flat ironed it, it would be a little bit easier and it did do just that. On the website, it's actually sold out. So sorry, I am very loved. So a lot of people obviously are liking this. Um, it has 4.9 stars on the Amika website. This is good to fight the frizz, smooth and protect hair um, so humidity can't undo your do. That is so cute. So this is color safe, cruelty free, no mineral oil, no parabens, no sulfates. Um, and it is vegan certified, so that's really exciting. On the website, I don't know if my phone is gonna, my lighting is, okay, right there you can see like it lists for every product what it's free of. Um, so you know what you're putting in your hair before you purchase it. It gives a really good description when you get on the website. So, blow drying brush. Oh my goodness. So, so many people have talked about the Conair one, the Dry Bar one, um, the Hot Tools one, but I didn't hear anything about the Amico one um, from anyone with my curl type. So I'm thinking, hmm, it must not work with curls like mine if I'm not seeing anyone use it or like talk about it. Um, so I'm excited that I get to share with you guys my experience with it. Because I feel like, you know, if you have my curl type, you'll be able to relate. So, here it is. I already threw the box away because I love it so much. I was like, I, there's no way I'm taking it back. Hell yeah, I'm keeping it. So, this is it. It's so lightweight. It's not loud at all. It's amazing. And you'll find that out throughout the video. So, I'm not going to, like, focus too much on that. The flat iron is great. I actually end up return, ended up returning the flat iron because my hair is so long it is so much longer than i thought it was going to be like when it's curly as you can see it's up to my shoulder um when it's straight it is probably four inches from my butt maybe four or five 
I don't know. You'll be able to see. But, oh, my battery's gonna die. Damn it. So you'll be able to see that. But I did return the flat iron. I feel like the one inch is just not, it's just not wide enough for me. I do need like an inch and a half because it did take me a while to flat iron my hair. So I would like something with a wider plate. So I'm going to see if they have anything like that. I haven't done any research just yet. But if you want to hear more about what um, my feelings are about the Amica products and their tools. Um, keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. I am so shiny. I like really have been doing my skincare and I think I might have overdone it today, but I'd rather be like oily looking and like shiny and hydrated than like, you know, crispy and crunchy. <laughs> so I'm going to start by blow drying my hair with the Amica blow drying brush or blow dryer brush. This is what it looks like. I already cracked it open. So I was on, you know, YouTube trying to find the best blow drying brush for my hair. Figured I would try the Amica one. There were people that have used it, but there wasn't anyone that I could find. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like I dug pretty deep. I couldn't find anyone with my hair texture. You know, my curls are pretty tight on YouTube. So I'm like, I might as well record it and see how it works in my hair and give you guys a review so that if you do have my hair type or similar, you can see how this works in my hair. So I'm bummed because these are bent. When I opened the box, that's how they were. And I'm like, I'm not going back there just for that. So whatever uh i'm like i said i've never used anything like this i usually use a blow dryer and to be honest i don't even really like using heat on my hair uh, i went a year without heat so that i could repair it i decided to buy all new everything i also bought the amica flat iron uh, this had really good reviews and i think it also has an award through allure i could be wrong I could be wrong I gotta check that so I was like okay because I don't want to be using my old crusty flat iron that chi I feel like the heat isn't evenly distributed through the plates and I've worked so hard to get my hair back to this I mean if you've watched my old videos you know my hair was not like this at all so I've come a very long way it took me about two years to get here the first year I was like halfway there but to get the length that it has and just how like moisturized it is I definitely don't want to ruin my hair so I figured like let's do new tools new hair products so here we go let's try it out I'm gonna plug it in okay so I have it plugged in it has this little blue light here and then you have three different settings so you have like the fan which I'm assuming is cool okay so the little fan is cool you have like the little wave, so I'm assuming that's like low heat and then high and then high heat for the big wave. I like that it's a little more quiet than a blow dryer. And honestly, I don't know how easy it's going to be to do my hair with a regular blow dryer and a brush. Now that my hair is so tight and curly, I figured it would take longer. So I'm like, this already has the brush attached to it. So it might be easier for me to blow it out. Now I read to let your hair air dry. So it's been about, cause I started a timer. Oh, <laughs> I started a timer. Let's see. I'm at 351, so I've been letting my hair air dry for almost four hours now, so I should be okay. However, I did have it tied up because I had to go run errands, and I didn't want my hair looking crazy down because, like, I don't have any styling products in it. I just have um, heat protectant and a little bit of leave-in conditioner, so I was like, I can't go out looking like that. Okay, so this is my hair with the product in it. It's bouncy. It's super soft, and, like, I haven't used products with like silicone, parabens, mineral oil, sulfates, and all that good stuff. Well, not really good stuff, but um, all of those additives. Am I centered? For two years and two years and eight months. And look at my hair. It's like super bouncy. It's just like, it's buttery. Look at my sideburns. Uh -huh. It's buttery and I'm happy with it. I did put a little bit of leave-in conditioner by Curlsmith in it. Just a little, little tiny bit. And then I used the Amica products that I mentioned in the beginning. So let's get started. It's darn near dry. Like, there are a couple damp spots, but it's pretty much dry. So I'm just gonna, ooh, I can just like slip my fingers right through it. Like, no problem. So I'm gonna clip this side up. 
And I'm gonna section this off and tie it up because I only have two clips. I don't know where all of my clips went. So I'm gonna start out. Okay, it's a little tangly back here, but that's like normal, I feel like, by the nape of my neck. Oh, my hair's tangly, but it's not, it's definitely more tangly than this, typically, with other products. Like, I can't even get my fingers through it. Okay, so this should be a small enough section. So my shrinkage is real like look at my hair okay let me set up straight so you guys can like really see okay so this is like my longest length it is to my a little past my boob wow my hair literally the last time I straightened it it was and who knows this might be dead hair I might need a trim but I feel like I just got it trimmed before COVID before I went to California no I got it trimmed in March because I remember I had flat ironed my hair and the ends were really crispy and crunchy so I went and got it cut she cut off I don't I don't even know how much she cut off I don't think it was even an inch Wow uh, guys I'm hype uh, this is so much easier than a freaking blow dryer I love it I think what I need to do though is like comb my hair a little bit or like you know before I run it through so it goes through a little bit smoother I'm gonna put a timer on and see how long it takes me to blow dry my hair Wow can you believe it look and it's still soft it's super shiny I feel like I could have gotten it a little more slick had I'm not like very good with the whole like rolling technique I feel like it could like if a hairstylist used this in my hair they would be able to get it like poker straight but I was able to get it pretty straight with this I mean minus the like frizz um so if you have curly hair you're going to love this because my curls are tight and you know what I grabbed this comb because I'm like let me detangle it first I couldn't even get this through my hair with the comb it was like getting stuck when I rolled this through it detangled everything no more tangles like my whole life I've gone without one of these and it's amazing I'm like blown away so if you have straight hair you're gonna love it I did time how long it took to do this half of my head nine minutes and 49 seconds that's like usually the bottom section of my hair like how long it takes me so I'm very excited if you have straight hair this is gonna take you like two minutes for your whole head maybe five so I'm gonna work on the other half of my head and I'll be back okay so I feel like I was able to get this side a little more smooth I was starting to get the technique down a little bit better so this one's pretty smooth this one's kind of frizzy but that's okay now I know for next time what to do and it just feels better too on the other half also you can't see it in the camera but I have a gray hair I don't know where the hell it came from but it's here so now I'm gonna use the flat iron so let's take this out of the box oh oh it made that sound the cardboard scratched the box I can't even talk about it it makes my teeth hurt oh so this is a flat iron it comes with this little clip which is cool um so when it's hot you can just put it on there and you can take it with you where you need to go i just love how like simple the lettering is with the two little guys there i don't know i just like it i think it looks so pretty and then you can see the plates are pretty too they're super soft and then you have your little temp guy here so let me plug this in okay so i have it plugged in i don't know what this little thing is for oh maybe it's for the oh it's for your thumb so you can be like boop doop doop and then you have all of your buttons on the inside here so i'm going to start at 380 i don't like to go over 400 we'll see what this is about so i'm going to let that heat up in the meantime i'm going to section my hair off and spray it with heat protectant so by the time that gets hot the heat protectant will be dry i'm using the redken the thermal protectant spray i should have bought the amica one so i could see how it worked but i didn't because i knew i had this already and this is the one I used to use when I did flat iron my hair and I seem to like it. Oh, and it beeps when it's hot. It literally said, boop. I really don't like to do more than three passes through my hair. Like, of course I gotta get the roots a little bit more because they're tighter, but I don't like to pass through my hair more than three times. So my ends need cut a little bit. They're a little raggedy, but it got my hair pretty smooth. Look at that, wow. Okay, so here's my hair. Should I change my shirt so you guys can see? I don't know, let me throw it behind me. So this is how long it is. I don't know if it's even, if I'm even in the frame. So things that I like about this flat iron. 
So when you run it through your hair, you can touch it immediately after. I ended up putting it to 390. I had it at 380. I just feel like that wasn't hot enough. So um, I definitely do like it better on 390. My hair doesn't smell like, you know, like that burnt smell. It still smells like the shampoo and conditioner that I use. Like, I'm absolutely blown away. Amika, you have earned a loyal customer. I'm about to go to Cosmoprof tomorrow and get some more stuff because, or hold up, not Cosmoprof, salon centric. I'm going tomorrow and buying the rest of the stuff that I want because look at my hair, like it's so shiny. Okay, so I'm finished. The flat iron is great, like I like it. I don't know if it's something that I would, I also don't do hair for a living, like I do makeup, but I'm like, I'm not sure what makes it different from other flat irons other than um, it doesn't make your hair like, feel like you're frying off your hair. Um, my hair on this side is definitely more smooth. I think it's because with the blow dryer, I did a better job where this side is a lot more frizz in my opinion. So next time I'll definitely use that method now that I have it down and probably use different products in my hair, maybe something that helps more with frizz. I thought that's what I got. Maybe I didn't use enough, but everything's trial and error. It's my first time straightening my hair in so long, so, you know, I don't have it down anymore. Like, the technique, I feel like it could be less frizzy. If you have curly hair or whatever you got going on with your hair, um, these are great products. Um, that blow dryer brush is literally life-changing. You need it. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys soon.